Most dog owners know their pooches would make friends with just about anyone or anything. If another dog passes by, Old Blue's as likely to give her a cordial sniff and a friendly lick as he would a thief knocking on the front door of the family home. Still, sometimes a dog's friendliness can stun even the most dedicated dog lovers. For instance, way up towards the northern tip of Maine, a dog owner and her family had seen their dog shake his tail with delight at the numerous guests that stayed on their family-owned campground. But the dog's reaction to a surprise visitor on the campground created an unforgettable moment for her entire family. As an owner and operator of Lugden Lodge, a family-owned camp in rural Wallagrass, Maine, Shannon Lugden dealt regularly with animals from the surrounding woods. But in June 2018, she met an animal that truly stood out from the rest. The encounter started at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Though the early morning silence of the campground while camping kids still slept from the previous day's activity, Shannon heard an alarming sound. The calls cutting through the campgrounds belonged to a baby moose. Shannon supposed the little girl was calling out for her mother. After dubbing her Miss Maggie, Shannon decided she was going to help. But as much as she'd like to fix the moose's situation right then and there, Shannon couldn't just call out and summon her missing mother. This was one of those moments where nature had to run its course. Until about eight hours later. Right around 1 p.m., Miss Maggie wandered dangerously close to Route 11, a 402-mile highway that cuts through Main Center. A moose in the road, baby or not, wasn't exactly a benefit for drivers. Shannon had to intervene. The campground owner called the local wardens, two phenomenal wardens, Arden and Nick, Shannon wrote on her Facebook, came over and we helped Miss Maggie back down to the brook in the shade, but the problem wasn't quite solved. The baby moose wandered back to the spot where she'd been crying so audibly at 5 a.m. that morning. The spot we think her mother had left her, Shannon wrote. Only minutes before, Shannon thought Miss Maggie was about to pick up on her mother's scent and solve the case herself, but they were back to square one. Complicating matters further, the wardens instructed Shannon and her family to go near to Miss Maggie. Often, the wardens noted, animals that appear abandoned aren't. Wild animals often leave their babies to eat, drink, and rest, Shannon wrote. In other words, intervening in this baby's moose afternoon might have long-term repercussions on Miss Maggie's ability to fend for herself, but the baby continued to cry loudly. Was there nothing Shannon could do? Against her instincts, Shannon left Miss Maggie alone. The 24-hour period passed, and on Sunday morning, she couldn't find a trace of the little girl. So she led her German shepherd, Leo, out into the ground. That was when the moose encounter turned truly spectacular. Leo strutted around the campground only to stumble across Miss Maggie by accident. Yup, it turned out the moose hadn't been picked up by mom in those passing hours. And Leo, curious dog that he was, wasted no time in checking her out. But the interaction didn't stop at a brief encounter. Leo and Miss Maggie came face to face and then nose to nose. He walked right over, Shannon wrote, and Miss Maggie and Leo became fast friends. Even better, the day's friendship had only begun to blossom. For the rest of that Sunday morning, Miss Maggie followed us around all day begging for attention, Shannon wrote, and after leaving her before 24 hours, the Lugden family was happy to give in. Each member of the family posed for a photo with a six-day-old 27-pound moose who'd wandered so helplessly into the campground, giving her all the motherly love she'd been missing out on. Miss Maggie loved it. With the imaginary barrier between human and moose broken thanks to a curious dog, Shannon launched into full-on mother mode. I fed her grass, clover, water milkshake, she wrote. Then she called the veterinarian. The veterinarian recommended feeding her lactid, so Shannon obliged. Meanwhile, she reveled in the moose's unwavering kindness towards her, her family, and Leo the dog. You can't imagine how affectionate she was, she wrote. Later that afternoon, the wardens, Arden and Nick, returned. Without the return of the mother, they could now, unfortunately, safely conclude Miss Maggie had been abandoned. This was a sad moment, but a great opportunity. The wardens arranged for Amanda Demuse, below, a biologist with the Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife who dealt with a number of abandoned animals, to pick up Miss Maggie and bring her to the main wildlife park. There, caretakers could give her all she needed to grow up big and strong. 
not a bad fate for an abandoned baby moose. In the end, the Lugdens learn an important lesson. If you give a moose a German Shepherd friend, she'll want a bit of human love to go with it. And Leo's interaction with Miss Maggie was just as special. Just look at the excitement surging through the pooch and the prospect of making a new friend. Is there anything sweeter? With Leo running straight towards Maggie, there's no telling if she'd ever been scooped up by Amanda or given a lifetime of loving by the Lugdens. Thankfully, Leo was a curious boy.